So this week we're going to read a story called 999 Tadpoles. Today we're just going to do a picture walk. We're just going to look through the pictures and see what we notice about the story. So before we begin, we're going to fill out the title of our story, the author, the person who wrote the words in the book, and the illustrator, the person who drew the pictures. So first, our title is 999 Tadpoles. So on your screen, I want you to go ahead and point to 999 Tadpoles. Where do you see that? Go ahead and point. Very good, you should have pointed right up here. 999 Tadpoles is the title of our story. Our author is Ken Kimura. He's the one who wrote the story, he wrote the words. And you can see his name right here by Ken Kimura. Our illustrator is Yanigari Murakami. She's the one who drew the pictures. She's our illustrator. And it says right here, illustrated by Yazunari Murakami. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to look at the pictures. So if we look, go ahead and look on the cover, I see a lot of green things. And I know the title is 999 tadpoles. That's a really big number. And this looks like a lot. So this must be the 999 tadpoles. Do you know what a tadpole is? Because I don't. Probably figure out what that is in our story. And over here, there's some other kind of guy. And he's kind of all by himself. So let's go ahead and look at the pictures in the story. 999 tadpoles. Okay. So let's just take a look. I'm seeing a lot of tadpoles in the big circle. Probably from the title, we can assume that there's 999 of them. And then over here on the side, what do we have? Two frogs. Very good. Let's go to the next page. What do you notice? Let me go back to the other page. Look at them. What do we have here? What's happening to them? They're getting bigger. Yeah. <gasps> What's happening? They're escaping. Oh, and there's only one frog now. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's happening? What are they doing? They're following the big frog. I wonder why. We'll have to find out when we read tomorrow. What's happening? What do we see on this page that we haven't seen before? Trees. Yeah. Anything else? Right there. A butterfly. Very good. Wow. Look how big they're getting. What does it look like they're starting to do right here, this little guy? Because what do frogs do? They hop. Yeah, it looks like he's learning how to hop. Oh, I want, what are they on? So many questions that I'm going to have to answer tomorrow when we read. So some of them are on something. What does that look like? Looks like maybe a stick, a log, a tail. And these guys are over here still. Maybe they're scared. Oh, we found out what it was. It's a snake. Oh my goodness. What are they doing on the snake? Tell maybe the big frogs look a little nervous. They're kind of scared. I know I would be. Oh, what do we have on this page? A big, big hawk. What's the hawk going to do? I don't know. Oh my gosh, what happened? What did the hawk grab? This story is so suspenseful. I hope it gets away. What are all the frogs doing? They're trying to help save him. They're working together. That's really good teamwork. Oh no, they're not getting away.
They're still trying. The frogs are still trying to get the frog free. Look how many. These are all the frogs and there's the hawk. They're all working together to save him. He let go. All the frogs did it. Oh my goodness, what are the frogs happening to the frogs? They're falling down from the sky. Whew, what they land in? Water, so they're safe. That's good. Look at all the frogs. They're in the water. They look happy now. And they're playing, and they're having so much fun. And our last page. I have so many questions about this story. And luckily, tomorrow we're going to read it. So today we just looked at the pictures to get our brains ready so that tomorrow when we read it, we'll kind of have a little understanding of what's going to happen with the book. I hope you're just as excited to read it tomorrow as I am.